A teenager broke Apple's ecosystem. Microsoft open source a game older than some of us. Blender got a massive upgrade and GitHub sold the GitHub Actions Cache nightmare. All this and more in today's episode of The Download. Hey developers, I'm Andrea Griffiths. Welcome back to The Download, the show where I debug all this tech news so you don't have to. Let's get into it. Blender shipped 5.0 and is genuinely epic. The node system got a complete rebuild, the Python API is finally readable, and EEV got way better at screen space ray tracing for global illumination. Real talk though, this was not just an incremental patch, this was open source way of saying, anything you can do, I can do better and free. Studios should test it on non-critical work first because there are some breaking changes, but the fact that you can build production grade 3D in something that costs zero dollars, that is epic. Microsoft Xbox and Activision officially open source Zork under MIT license. No legal grace on here, this is officially official. This is code that invented interactive fiction. Written in MDL on a PDP-10 with less RAM than your smart fridge. No frameworks, no stack overflow, just pure logic that asks players to imagine instead of just win. The Z machine architecture is genius because constraints force it to be. They couldn't fit the game on home computers, so they had to split it into three games sharing one engine. Cross-platform gaming in the 1980s is still better than some apps in 2025. You can fork it now, compile the code, run it, understand exactly how interactive fiction works. Congratulations to all the hard work those teams put through to get this open source. Okay, so this is the MCP news that actually matter. Anthropic OpenAI and the MCP-UI community proposed the MCP apps extension, which standardizes interactive user interfaces for MCP servers. Basically, MCP servers can now deliver actual UIs, not just text and data. They do this with pre-declared UI templates and HTML render in sandbox iframes. No custom protocols, just standard JSON RPC over post message. This is security first by design. You can review everything before rendering and it has auditable messages. The NCP-UI project proved this pattern works at scale with Postman, Shopify, Hugging Face all shipping with it. Now it's being standardized across the entire ecosystem. It's also backward compatible too, so servers can provide text-only fallbacks. Congratulations to the MCP-UI team. GitHub listened to developers and delivered something we've been asking for. The 10 gigabyte limit is still there and still free, but now you can pay to exceed it. So your massive node modules, your build artifacts, everything that needed creative key splitting, it lives in cash now. You can set your own limits and billing policies. Shout out to that amazing team in GitHub that made this possible. Okay, this is my favorite news as of recent. Kavish Tavar, a high school student from India, reverse engineered AirPods and dropped Libre Pods on GitHub. It has ear detection, conversational awareness, head gestures, all of it. Basically all the features that we couldn't get to work on Android, he did it. He built this during the high seas and while he was studying for board exams. By the way, he scored 98% on those exams too, so congrats Kavish. Yes, it needs rooted Android with exposed framework for now, so it's not mainstream tomorrow, but the principle, the principle is there and it is unshakable. Massive shout out to Kavish, way to build. And that's the download for this week from Hollywood great open source to code older than most of us. All these great innovations from people who didn't wait for permission, they just went out and built. Please subscribe, drop story ideas in the comments. Until next week, keep building, keep breaking things and keep proving that it's not possible it usually means we just didn't try. See you next time.